<laughs> the dark, the unknown, just the things that are out there that we can't comprehend, we can't see. <laughs> My dad used to make me go out walking with him when I was little. <laughs> I think spiders probably scare me most out of anything in this world. Because <laughs> you're thinking, if I do look and I see something that I do want to see. <laughs> It doesn't just mean you're gone, you're dead, it could be. Being afraid not to end up in a hospital bed, unable to move, but most of it, I think, is regret. And I just hope it changes and that this fear suddenly goes. It's been with me ever since I can ever remember, and I just don't want it to stay with me anymore. I don't get scared. Not anymore. You try and scream for help, but you can't scream. And you get the hot sweats and you're, you, you're itchy, but you can't move. That. No. I'm not going back to that fucking shit restaurant tonight or any other night. Once was enough. The service was deplorable, the waiter was a complete idiot and still demanded a tip. Hmm. I have to go. Yeah, I'll catch you soon. Bye. Come in. You wanted to see me, Amanda? Well, don't just stand there. Take a seat. So, it's not good news. Ratings for the show are down 40% for the series. Miranda, I hired you because you've got a proven track record, so what's the problem here? I think it's working. We need to wait and see the final turnover, but the content's improving and I think we've got a good group in for this episode. No, I'm not convinced. Not judging by these figures. If we don't smash the ratings for the series, you'll be heading back to Channel 5 quicker than a five second news flash. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly. Or, if you prefer to go now. Well, what do you mean? I'm under contract until at least the end of the year. Yeah. Fuck the contract. If you continue to be a sarcastic, pain in the ass bitch, you can leave now and I'll get Bonnie fucking Langford in. I wasn't being sarcastic. And I'm sorry if you thought I was. I'm just trying really hard to make this series work. And I think with this episode, I will. It's your neck on the line here. Not mine. I have a thousand other people out there who would love to anchor this show. Don't push me to make that decision, Miranda. So, who have we got for the next show? Glenn Palmer, Sarah Grant, and Rachel Gowan. Last one sounds interesting. Childhood fears, alienation perhaps. Right. Stand on her. I want a bittersweet confession or something similar and I want tears. Everyone loves a genuine sob story. I want that Gowan girl blubbing like a baby by the end of the episode. You know the drill, Miranda. Get the ratings up. Leave it with me. Won't be a problem. The others sound interesting too. Quite spooky. Sarah Grant apparently has something dead in her bedroom. Reminds me of an ex. It's a bit weird. You really are a little mouse, Miranda. Squeaking around all the time. Squeak me some ratings and then, maybe then, we'll discuss extending your contract. Well, let the squeaking commence. Oh, and before you go, I'm expecting Philip Dante for a meeting. He'll probably come through the studio hall, so make sure he finds his way. Don't introduce him to the help. And also, Tell the security not to be eating fucking donuts when he arrives. Miranda, it's not funny. That actually happened last week. Oh. Have a good show. Thanks. <laughs>